Hey, how you doing? It's Mr. Clifford. It's time for the easiest concept in macroeconomics, the business cycle. Over time, our economy fluctuates, goes up and down, looks like this. Done. Real GDP, the economy's doing really high, it's in its peak, great. When it starts to fall, that leads to a recession and a trough, and you get a recovery, the economy starts speeding up again, there it is. This tells you everything you need to know about this unit. It talks about unemployment, GDP growth, and it talks about inflation. It's all there. What? It's right there. If I were to ask you, where would inflation be on this thing? Where's inflation? Well, it's not really on the graph. It's the concept. We would lead to higher, places, higher prices in this range right here. This would be leading to inflation. Why? Well, when we have a higher sped up economy, the economy, the GDP is real high, economy is speeding up, that's going to put upward pressure on the prices of resources and labor and workers and stuff like that. And that means we're going to have a speeding up economy that's going to lead to higher prices. Inflation, right? Then we have a dipping recession where the economy is actually slowing down, and that would lead to this time when we have unemployment. All right? Unemployment is any time we're below this trend line. This trend line is full employment, right? That line right there shows you we have full employment over time, and we want it going up. That's GDP growth. So this unit is just about three things. It's about GDP and growth. It's about limiting inflation. And it's also about limiting unemployment. And the concepts are all inside the business cycle. Till next time.